Hey folks, it's Brian, and I've got another Jeep video in my Jeep TJ build series. So this is gonna be a little fun. I want I'm gonna cut open this radiator. Uh, the transmission cooler dropped in here, and I'm real curious how big the transmission coolers are. I thought I would take out the fittings and transfer them to the other radiator that I bought. The other radiator has nipples. It's not in the best of condition, but it'll work. Um, probably gonna end up replacing it at some point but it it was i bought it early in this project so if you like the video uh hit like subscribe hit the bell icon and check out my playlist for jeep build so let's let's do it to it i'm gonna cut this open with my um worthless harbor freight um cutoff wheel uh, and I just, I want to pull this out. I want to see how big that, that transmission cooler is, because I don't think it's that big. So, uh, let me get set up for that, and I'll be right back. Alright, so, let's just see where this takes us. Thing. Uh, that, that plastic is a lot tougher than I thought it was.
this should just pop off. There it is. And that is the transmission cooler. That's the whole thing. Not bad, but not a whole lot. It's metal. So I guess that's enough, but man, that sure isn't much. So I'm probably gonna add an extra one to the Jeep once I get it running. So there you have it. If you ever wanted to know how large the oil cooler is that's inside the transmit uh, the radiator, that's your answer. Let's look at the rest of the radiator while we got it out. The rest of it looks pretty good. Nothing that we really shouldn't see in here. So, uh, this radiator is shot, by the way. It has rash on it, so it's, it's toast. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this interesting.